Hey, how's it going? So today we're going to be looking at a classic lick from Django Reinhardt's 1937 recording of Minor Swing. I like this lick because it has a really useful A minor arpeggio shape that you can use in your own improvising. It's got this really uh, fast chromatic pull-off lick that sounds really, really slick. And it's a really classic Django sounding lick, so let's check it out. Okay, cool. So we're going to break this lick into three parts, okay? First part's going to sound like this. Second part's going to sound like this. And the third part's going to sound like this. Cool. So, first part of the lick. So we're going to start on the A string, we've got one note on the 7th fret. Then two notes on the D, we've got the 7th fret and the 10th fret. Then one note on the G, the 9th fret. One note on the B, the 10th fret. Two notes on the E, 7th fret and the 8th fret. And then last note, back on the B string, 10th fret. And as you can see, this is our A minor arpeggio shape, and it has all the notes of the A minor arpeggio. So you can see here we've got the fifth, here we've got the roots, the third, the fifth again, the roots, and then the ninth or the second, depending on how you want to do the maths, uh, third, and then back to the root. Very good to know. Now, here's the second part of the lick. So we're going to start on the E string, we're on the 7th fret. And then B string, we've got three notes, the 7th fret, 10th fret, and 9th fret. Then three notes on the G string, we've got the 9th fret, 8th, and 7th. And that's it. Now, let me tell you a really useful trick. When you're learning licks, it's really useful to try and think of the chord underneath the lick. This way, it can kind of reveal to you what part of the lick is a chord tone and what part is a passing tone. And it helps you then kind of take that lick and play it in different contexts and different tunes, chord progressions. So we've got this, it's over an E chord, right? Well, I know the first note, well, I know that's chord tone because it's in the bloody chord. Like I know it's chord tone, it's the fifth. And then, I know that, that's the third, and then that'll be the one, because it's an E, and I know that's a chord tone, because it's in the chord, it's a dominant seven. It's a really useful thing to do. Now let's go on to the third part of this lick. So I'm going to show you, this is the chromatic fast pull-off bit that sounds really good. Uh, I'm going to show you how I play, what fingers I use on what frets. If you find a way that's more comfortable for you to play, different fingers, um, by all means go ahead, just as long as it sounds good. It's, it's really the only rule. If it sounds good, it is good. That's simple as that, really. Now, we're going to start on the E string. I'm going to use my third finger on the eighth fret, and I'm going to do an upstroke. Okay. Then I'm going to do a downstroke on the seventh fret, and I'm going to use the same finger. I'm going to slide it down one fret. Then after that, it's going to be a pull-off, pull-off, and then an upstroke. On the fourth fret, I'm going to slide that first finger down. So this all together sounds like this. So it's all chromatic, just going down one fret at a time, and you can see it's kind of you can pick up the speed on this. You know, it sounds really good. So once you've got that, I'll show you it again dead quick. Upstroke, then slide down, downstroke, then pull off, pull off. Slide down, upstroke. Once you've got that, two more notes in the E string, the 7th fret and the 5th fret. And then we go down the A minor arpeggio. So one note on the B string, the 5th fret. One note on the G, the 5th fret. And one note on the 7th, on the D string. Okay. So that third part sounds like this. So all together, this is what we got. Nice. 
Guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel, like the video, let us know what you think in the comments, all the usual YouTube stuff. Um, we've got a cool podcast that we do, make sure to check that out, and we're going to have more teaching videos coming up, so stick around for those. Cheers.